Hello, hello everybody, it's Erin here. <laughs> I wanted to wish you a happy St. Paddy's Day. I got my glittery shamrocks on my head, which is super fun, you know me, crazy, crazy goofy girl. So I wanted to come on and uh, share my my silliness with you. And I wanted to do a card pull, card pull from you, for you from my Bold Confident You Unleashed card deck that I created. I wanted to pull a couple cards here to support you in building your confidence. So if you don't know, if you haven't seen, this is my card deck. I created it myself. I have um, a lot of my own photos in here. Anyways, this card deck is all about transforming your life from the inside out, building confidence. Um, it has three different types of cards in here. There are tree cards. See if I find a tree here. Here's one tree card we have flowers and there are butterflies in here as well and the trees stand for deep roots of confidence deep roots of self-worth and self-love the flowers stand for opening and blossoming and blooming into your true authentic self and the butterflies represent transformation so i just wanted to pull a few cards for you today let me do a little shuffle shuffle they're a little on the big side so i have to shuffle like this Okay, all right, so the first card I'm gonna pull for you, let's see here. All the cards have either a learning lesson on them or they have um, a affirmation or empowering questions that you can use in your journal. So this one, ooh, I love this card. I took this picture. This is the Be Bold card. And on the back it says, people are attracted to boldness. Define what being bold means to you and write it in your journal. Ask yourself, where in my life would I like to be more bold? How would I act and what would I do if I felt confident and bold? Okay, so that means ask yourself, if I felt confident right now or if I felt bold right now, what would I do? Because we don't always feel confident or bold, but we can feel into what that might feel like and then we can take the next step into actually being confident and bold. Dive into that feeling of being bold in your imagination. See yourself taking bold action. And how will you be bold today? There's the be bold card. Okay, and the next card I'm going to pull here is, ooh, comfort zone. I took this photo too. So comfort zone, getting outside of your comfort zone is super, super important in building your confidence. So this card says, getting out of your comfort zone builds confidence quickly, and it doesn't need to, mean, need to mean taking a big leap. You can take just a tiny baby step if you need to, just do something uncomfortable. The more you practice getting out of your comfort zone, the easier it gets. That's true. Make a list of things outside of your comfort zone that you've wanted to do but have been too afraid. Journal, what's one small thing I can do today to expand my comfort zone? What's one small thing you can do today to expand your comfort zone? I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Why don't you just tell me in the comments what's one small thing you could do today? Yeah, let's see, one more. Let's just do one more. Ooh, here's an affirmation card. This is the I am enough card. These trees are very, very, very tall, which means that they must have very, 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 very deep roots. And one of the keys to confidence is feeling like you're enough, being enough, knowing that you're enough, and having those deep roots of I am enough confidence. Okay, so the back the affirmation on this one says, repeat your affirmation throughout this, the day. I choose to be enough because I am enough. Yes, you are enough, absolutely, you are more than enough. Okay, so that could be your mantra today, choose to be enough. All right, let's just do one more for good measure. Oh. Love yourself. Another key to confidence is love, deep self-love. I'm actually teaching a new training next Thursday of the three keys to confidence. And the three keys to confidence, one of the, one of the keys is loving yourself, self-love. One of them is um, vision and then your beliefs. And there's different categories that go under each key, but those are the three main things. You have to have positive, empowering beliefs, big vision, and love. 
self-love. So the back one of this one says, as women, we spend way too much time criticizing ourselves, killing our confidence. Today, make a list in your journal of all the things that you love about yourself. For example, I love my hair, my big kind heart, my humor, my deep friendships, my booty. <laughs> yes, it does say that. <laughs> Have fun and write as much as you can think of, even the parts you don't like. Then say to each of those parts, I love you. Okay, so if there's something about your body or your, or your inside self that you don't love right now, Tell it that you love it. Give that part of yourself some love today. Okay, everybody, just recap. Be bold, take bold action. Okay, how can you be bold today? Get outside your comfort zone. I am enough. And love yourself. All right, everyone, have a happy and safe St. Patrick's Day, and I will talk to you super soon. Mwah.